Welcome. My name is Anis Dan, and I want to introduce you to my Lugan Diary 40 entry, which is My Greedy Dog, Steve. I worked on this with Brainoid Games, who helped me with the programming and design, and Jay Sama Art, my brother, who did the wonderful art that you'll see within the game. So, let's get into it. So the story is, you're a retired adventurer who's tried to get a bit of a peaceful life moving to the woods, and you've bought yourself a little little pug to keep you company. Now, your new best friend Steve is hungry. You'll need to gather enough food to make a meal for him, collect meat from the surrounding woodland creatures before little Steve starves. So we need to get three meat, uh, portions of meat, and we've got two minutes to do so. So there's Steve. Yeah, would have would have liked to animate him, but he's still pretty cute. And then, uh, okay, we got some creatures in the woods here. So we can attack these, and okay, they drop some meat, and we also got a sword. So let's equip that sword. And up here, you can see that this will show you what you've actually got equipped. So we've uh, equipped the Broadsword of Brutal Blows, which gives us bonus damage, but it reduces our attack speed. And uh, if we go back and change weapon, you can see the Retired Sword of the Adventure is the uh, sword you start with, which only has plus one damage and you lose HP through having it. So we're going to go ahead and use the, I think, the plus four damage one makes sense, doesn't it? So we need to get a few more pieces of meat now. In order to get Steve, you can right click as well, and you do a secondary swing attack. And I've leveled up, I killed two enemies, there's enough XP for this. And you get to choose to level up. Now, as you're a retired adventurer, leveling up isn't what it used to be. So, you do get perks, but in your old age, you also get side effects. So, for example, uh, look at the Irish here. You're now more lucky, increasing the chance of loot dropping. However, there is now a chance that you'll drop your own loot during combat. So that can be a bit annoying, but I'm going to go for that one so we can get a bit more items dropping. You can see I got a ring dropped from this as well, so let's equip that ring. Get the meat and just check what the ring is. So we got the ring of Osmium, which uh, once again reduces our attack speed. Okay, we might put that down then, <laughs> so we have a decent amount of attack speed to carry on. Okay, so I've got enough meat now. We, we've got a bit of time left. We could have a bit more of an explore before uh, we go and feed our beautiful steam. And you can see there's different areas, so we've come to a forest area now. It's these blobs up here. Let's try and run away from these. And you can see it uses your stamina at the top here uh, as you run. And it also uses it as you attack. So you, as I go over to this dude now and attack him, it takes my stamina to attack him. Now, I do have a stronger secondary ability as well, which comes in more handy when you're fighting the bears as well. So we've just leveled up again. I'm gonna go for a different one this time. So this one reduces movement speed, so let's not go for that one for now. So cat-like agility. So this one you're more likely to dodge incoming attacks. However, you can also, well, the meat can also dodge you when you try and pick it up. So this is an interesting one, you'll see it in action. I know where it went. So let me just uh, try to take down this bear. Second, the right mouse button does the knockback, but it uses a bit more stamina to, to actually use it. So we try to take him down. We leveled up again. Cool. Um, so this time we'll go for one. We'll deal more damage. Yeah, we'll go for that one. Now we'll pick up the ring that is just dropped here. Oh my gosh, I forgot about Steve. How could you? <laughs> Steve has died. So let's try that again. Don't forget about Steve. I mean, you're meant to love him. You're meant to love and care about Steve. Seems we forgot about him. We're a bad pet owner. All right, we'll go for Luck of the Irish again. Um, and we'll try and power through this time. Let's kill these enemies. What sword have I got there? Uh, movement speed, but a big amount of attack. Okay, it slows me down, but I can, I'll do da double the damage. Which is worthwhile, I think. Okay, so we've got enough meat now. So what you're going to see, if I feed him this now, even though I've got four, it's a dog. I mean, if you put four pieces of meat in front of him, he's going to eat them all anyway. So that's something for you to consider as you're going through and uh, feeding him, whether or not you want to give him all of them, or you can drop some of them on the floor as well. So Steve is thankful for the meal. There's a look in his eyes, as if he's looking right at his best friend. No time to rest. Steve is a grown pup, as he has a grown appetite. You better go prepare his next meal. Okay, so this time he needs four. We've got a bit more time to do it. Great. Um, so let's go and get some more meat for him. You can see we've got no meat left at all now because uh, he ate it all, so we've got to regather them. We're going to 
dodge attacks. So you can see, so can you see how that little piece of meat just moved forward in front of me? So that's representing that debuff that we got from our ability, uh, which is codenamed Butterfingers, which means there's a chance that the meat will dodge you as you go to pick it up as well. So what you hopefully you start to see, the more you level up, as much as leveling up is normally good in a game, the more you do it in um, in this game, it also it kind of weighs you down with a lot of different debuffs and disadvantages. So this one you have increased maximum health, but the extra bulk means you regain stamina slower, which is good. not the best thing to have. Um, what does this one do? Loot chance increase as well. Okay, let's call this. Hopefully we'll get a good bit of items from these. Stab up the Mr. Purple Blob. We didn't. We do have a couple more sprites of enemy types to put in, but we really run out of time towards the end. So, so what you've seen, I can't pick up this piece of meat, and the reason is the weight. It, ta it takes some of your uh, of the weight total for you to co hide, uh, collect the meat. So if I was to maybe drop the sword for a moment, then I've got a lot more um, space now, that or a lot more inventory I can carry. So let's run back. But now I'm got a sword. I can't attack things either, so we need to be a bit more careful with this. So let's feed Steve, but this time I'm going to do it differently. We're going to put, oh, we're going to put down meat because we only need four of them, and then we can save those for his next portion. Awesome! Next one needs six. Now, as you see, Steve, Steve looks—he definitely wasn't that small when we started. So let's go. Let's go and get some more. Oh, if I can pick up the meat with my buttery fingers. So there's different areas of the map as well. So um, we'll just go this way. It's just a oh no, I haven't got a sword. <laughs> oh, I completely forgot about that. Okay, what we're gonna actually do? We're gonna see if we can get away with not having a sword. Because up here is a, is a cave. Pretty sure this is, this is where the cave is. Now the downside is this <laughs> this the alpha bear there who will. Um, not one of stealing all the meat he's been collecting for his family, but I mean, as long as we don't keep dropping it like that, we should be able to just sneak back out again. I don't. We're gonna have to lure this bear in and kind of flank him and hope he doesn't headbutt us. Get out! Come on, go, go, go. Okay. So we got enough meat, and if I can just get back, uh, if I can get back to my sword on the way. Now I've done the silly thing. I should have followed the path back so I don't get lost. Because there's a good chance. Okay, we found the path again. Good. So you can see I'm running out of stamina now. Did this have stamina? No, I think one of the debuffs I, I got though did take down my stamina. So okay, we'll drop those down. We got a, we still got some time. So I'm gonna just I'm trying to remember where the sword was. Ah, there. Come here. Oh, but we can't. Cause, okay, it's more important that we've got a sword so we can fight things. There we go. Okay, so we'll feed our Steve now. We need to find a better sword that doesn't weigh so much because this is the broad sword of tremendous weight and it's good, but it weighs 40, which is a lot for a weapon. So, Okay, let's drop one more of these and let's feed Steve. Great, he's thankful again, but oh, he's more demanding. So we got more time again, but it's really, the quantities are going up and these debuffs are going up as well all the time, which is slowing us down. And well, making it a bit harder to survive as well. So we're gonna go and we'll go north this time. See if we can find some uh, something to give us a bit of, of food. Oh, there's a bear. Now the bears. Let me just clear this guy first. Oh, we've leveled up again. Which one should we go for? Deal more damage. Chance you're destroyed. Yeah, dealing damage will help us kill these things quicker. Oh, these bears are a bit mean. They kind of headbutt you. But you can you can kind of run away from them as they do it. And then you can use your own knockback as well to push them back. So there's somewhat combat me mechanics in here for you to master. Cool. Now what you're going to see as well is I've got one, but the bears, they drop five meat because, well... The bears, right? So once again, I think we'll level up the that one and come on this ring. We can't collect it because we we need a new sword. Okay, okay, we got this. So my objective at the moment is to find a new sword, get some meat.
Okay, so we're back at the cave. That should mean that if we just keep walking this way for a moment, we should be able to um, find a couple of beers, which will give us quite a bit we can carry as well. Mind you, I can only carry two more pieces of meat. Oh, that's annoying. Okay. But, I mean, that's what the mechanics are, right? It's meant to get harder. It's meant to be a, a case of battling how much you can carry, battling the debuffs that you have, while still keeping an eye on the timer and not letting Steve starve to death like we did the first time. Okay, so I'm going to kill one more of these, hoping to get one more piece of meat. Pow! Oh, yeah, he did drop. I picked it up instantly. Okay, so it doesn't help that I've got this this item that slows me down by 25% as well, but, right, okay. All right, come on then, Steve. Let's feed you up again. Oh, now you need 13. <laughs> He's definitely getting bigger as well. All right, Steve. Well, we'll keep those there. Let's go south this time. Let's, but we really just need another sword. That's one of the main things we need to do here. So let's try and kill everything on this road to the south. This weapon, however, is really strong. All right, so we're gonna do this one again to get stronger. And what you see is once you level up a certain amount, you could become proficient in being bad at the skill. So the so strong one, you now deal minor damage to yourself on every attack. <laughs> I kind of forgot, <laughs> I forgot what this would do. So this is gonna make things interesting because I can't get rid of that now. Can you see, I got, okay. So every time I'm doing damage now, I'm also doing damage to myself. Which means I'm going to have to play this more carefully now. Yeah. A lot more carefully. Okay, so we've probably got enough meat for the next one now. Yeah, because I think there's a good few chunks up top as well. So our main objective again is to find a new sword that hopefully isn't going to kill us. Okay, is there any that is going to give us more health? Juggernaut, you have increased health. Okay, but your stamina takes longer to equip it. That's fine, because we need to take some time anyway. Um, okay. Oh, the weight is full. Okay, but we can come back and collect the meat. So we'll just leave the meat on the floor. This is lovely bridge. And we got to really be careful with this. Hold on, what's my loot chance at the moment? I haven't got anything that... Okay, I haven't got anything that debuffs me. Maybe we need... Oh, sugar. Okay, we're very low. Uh, go away, bit. Nope. This is... Okay, I think it takes around eight of my health every time I hit him. Okay. Shh. We got this. Keep the bear keep the bear away. Okay. We killed the bear. We're on very low health now. I think we need to go and feed Steve. And I'm still desperate for a new weapon. I don't know where my weapon from the start of the game is. But there's five different swords you can get, there's five different pieces of armor, five different rings. But because I found this really heavy sword, it's kind of <laughs> weighed me down. Stopped me making the progress I would have liked to. So I'm going to have to drop the sword in order to get enough of this, the meat to feed him. Okay, Steve, there you go. 19 this time. <sighs> okay, we've got plenty of time. We're going to have to avoid any of this meat. we want to bring the meat back from further away really don't we and we haven't really explored much of this south island so we'll leave this here as well if we're desperate we can uh get some and our health is regenerating there's no other way to heal other than that though so we gotta <laughs> oh it's a big old shame that So 
So we got a bit over there. Yeah, it's a shame that we haven't had any more loot drop because it's kind of uh, making it quite difficult for us to progress. And I've only got a little bit of health left as well, so we gotta we gotta do this for Steve. I mean, oh no, four health. I can't even hit him. Oh no, 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 no. I think we're at the end. No, it's not the end. <gasps> What's this? Our oh, spooky woods. We don't wanna go in the spooky woods. All right, come on, bear. No. Holy smokes. Okay, we got you. Oh, no. No. What about Steve? Oh, Steve. Who's going to feed him? Very sad day. So, hopefully, it's giving you an idea of how the game works. Um, you're tasked with feeding Steve. You have a certain amount of time to do it. The time is not too strict. But the reason for that is as you level up, it takes you it ends up taking you a lot of time to go and get this meat because you're slowly getting weighed down by the different debuffs um, that you get as you level up. And there's some major debuffs that you haven't seen. You've only seen one of the five that you can get, uh, which will really affect your ability to kill enemies and stay alive. Uh, and as you saw, the one I got was probably one of the most unfortunate. You damage yourself as you damage enemies. Um, but yeah, well, as the theme was, you know, the more you have, so the more levels and gear you accumulate, the worse it is. And the same with the more you feed Steve, the more he, he wants the greedy little rascal. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the game. If you have time or you're interested, um, feel free to go and check it out the game on the Ludenda, or Ludenda website and give it a rate um, and drop a comment let us know what you thought of it. Thanks for taking the time to watch the video. Have a good day. Take care.